Hello everybody! Anime Reflux! Pandas and shit! Polar Bear Cafe! Also that, but mostly it's the pandas. They focus very much on the pandas. So, in this society, animals just kind of walk around and work <clears throat> normal jobs? I guess? I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, the summary for the first episode says Panda's part of Generation Cupcake. <clears throat> What's Generation Cupcake? I don't understand. I'd like to be part of Generation Cupcake. I would too. How does this work? For multiple reasons. First of all, that sounds delicious. Yes. And, and peaceful. And yeah. tranquil. Yeah. Second of all, if it had, like, animals walking around and shit that I wouldn't normally see... And I'm all for that. Like, why not? Agreed. I'd hang out with a polar bear. It seemed pretty no, good. you this wouldn't. One... Well, would <laughs> this one specifically didn't seem that great, but mostly. look, it's the it's the only thing whiter than he is. So yeah, let's let's. No. Okay. Well, thank you for the. Okay, good joke. I like it when they're good, new, interesting spins on jokes. That's 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 okay. <laughs> That's the lie. Because the thing with polar bear hair is it reflects light, and because they're like it's basically translucent. So yes. Hmm. So, I mean, I'd I'd hang out with the Coca Cola polar bear. I, I think I mentioned that last week. You did. Yeah. That's not how most polar bears are. Just what hanging out on ice floes, drinking. We Coke. start with in this show with our I guess protagonist. He's a panda. A and panda. His... his name is Panda. He lives in a Chinese-styled house, and he eats because, bamboo. Because why not? Do you get that he's a panda yet? <laughs> uh, and then his mom comes in and is like, hey, you're lazy. Go get a job, or I'll vacuum you up. Also, I was very disappointed when voice acting happened. That, that yes. show would have been better without, to be honest. I think the voice acting, I, I feel like you could do slapstick with bears and not have them say a thing. And yeah. Just not every Tom and Jerry. Yeah, but this would have been really easy to translate into non-voiced. Like, the mum gives Just, him a jobs magazine, and he's like, meh, meh, yeah, and then yeah. she gets him with the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, you could do that. But then the bear wouldn't be able to tell puns. Yeah, that <laughs> would be a shame. That would be a would be a shame. I wonder why this hasn't been localized yet. Can't imagine. <clears throat> Wait, I mean, it kind of reminded me of Wee Bear Bears. It does. It does. It's just. <laughs> it reminded me of an. It reminded me of an old show on Nickelodeon, Nick Junior, rather, called Little Bear. Aha! I remember that show. Oh. I can only remember the name. It might have been a little bit after I was even aware of anything on Nick Junior. Can we get a shout out for Bear in the Big Blue House? Yes, we can. Bear in the bl Big Blue. Bl 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 that I'm aware house. of. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm a little surprised they had it so the bear didn't like being vacuumed. Like, my dog loved being vacuumed. It was weird. Yeah. Every time we got out the vacuum, he would just stand nearby and just look at you until he did it. Yeah. Same with my cat. So, yeah. We're going to get into pet so, stories a lot, aren't we? <laughs> anyway. So, um, my dog's dead. <clears throat> yeah, mine too. Okay, well, moving on. That... <laughs> it's okay, guys. So are mine. Please. Oh, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> we're going to move along. So, the stupid panda you said pet is, stories, huh? is like, can you... I have a job magazine, and I'm going to look up jobs. And he gets quite possibly the worst possible jobs to call about for someone with literally no experience. Uh, it wouldn't. I'll admit, he might have been able to get at least one of them if he would just stop underselling himself, 
or just being so brutally honest. Yeah. Hey, what special skills do you have? I like, like to lay around and do nothing. Yeah. Are you good that with first one, I got kind of mad about the first one. As yeah. someone that had spent quite a, quite quite an amount of time trying to get a job with no experience. Um this guy is like cancer to people like that because this is just so fitting the stereotype of they have no experience so they have no skills and are worthless hmm yeah i'll admit that made me pretty angry too yeah it's i mean he's a panda yeah the pandas don't really actually do anything yeah, that, but that, that's, guy, that's, that guy on the phone was being so that's nice. In the though. job description for Panda, he was being so nice. He was like, "I don't have any experience." Oh, well, that's okay. Can you use a computer? And he's like, "No." Can uh, you at okay. least use a mouse? Yeah. Do Do you yeah. have any notable skills? Like he was trying. He's like, "Look, dude, I just need this job filled. I don't care if all you can do is like write your name." Like. Can you do that? Can you move one thing from the left to the right? Uh, nah, I don't feel like it. Are you breathing? This is the job for you. <laughs> yeah. The second so... one, not so nice, uh, was like an interior designer or something like that and he was like so what does one of those do and hang up immediately like obviously that's what you do like at that, at that point you think that's a prank call mm. so panda's like yeah I tried to find a job and there weren't any is what he tells his mum and his mum's like what about the convenience store and he's like uh, I won't remember what that they have. Yeah, they have oh. so much stuff, though. So she had some vacuum again. If someone can work at a convenience store and memorize every item instantly, like before they even have the job, I that's just weird. Mm. I'm say, I'd say I'd say that's the da, 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 next. Da, 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 uh, literally, we've spent this entire show talking over patient. You were gonna say something. <laughs> Well, I don't remember now, but thank you. <laughs> um, We're all excited to talk about the bear show. Yeah. Bears. Which is a little surprising, because I was bored. Yeah. This. yeah. So boring. <laughs> like, it kind of recovered a little bit at the end, but no, most of this was... Kind it of... is extraordinarily slow in its pacing. Mm. And... A lot of the jokes just don't land for me because I'm not their target audience at all. Yeah, this this skews really young. I had okay. a thought, actually, mm -hmm. while watching the... And this thought was silence because Slice's microphone seems to be on the fritz again. Uh, there we go. Is this working now? Yep. Okay, a lot of the jokes were based purely on what animals they are and what stereotypes are associated with it, what animals. Is the humor in this racist? Animalist? Speciesist? I don't know. I, mean, I didn't find it offensive, and I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you can consider it... I mean, they're animals. They are, yes, but I... they've also blurred the line a little bit by having animals just be people that are animals. Slicer, your mic, I swear. Yeah, it's bad. Hmm. It is constantly exploding. Please. Please send help. <laughs> all I did was move my fucking leg. Don't move at all. You are not allowed to move. <laughs> I'm just stuck in place now. Great. Okay. What were we talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah, they made the show is people. yeah, which if you really squint, yes, does kind of make unfortunate connotations appropriate, but it, don't just don't <laughs> don't read that. Don't be zero in this. Don't read don't that much into it. Reason, don't look for a reason to be offended. Yeah, 
That that's what Tumblr's for. Not, I'm not offended by this show. I just wonder how this society functions. Quite well, seemingly. So it seems. So our little panda bear is looking for jobs still, and then he finds a butterfly that gets like tied up by the string. It does make you wonder about the whole like carnivore thing, though. Honestly, I'm wondering what, like, how far does this go? Is this just mammals, or like, where does it Clear stop? Not. I mean, even if I mean, it was just mammals, your stake would be no, 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 there morally was a tortoise, right. concerning. There was a tortoise, so... Yeah. When do insects become part of the society? I don't know. When they talk. Insects do have significantly less brain mass than other animals. Do they, the survival uh, instinct is high. Because there's fly in my house it's gonna be in there for like three days because i can't kill it so you know just let, it, let's just let this life bar run out just this incredible prejudice against insects is just shows how much more progress we have yet to make so <laughs> the cupcake generation isn't all it's cracked up to be apologies casey hmm? my sincere yes it's okay patient i, I think the wine like thing that that kind of makes me not buy into the society as much oh, is that God's you sake. don't see a, <laughs> you don't see you don't see a lot of animals in the, in the backgrounds of a lot of these shots it's all humans the only time you see animals is at that cafe which we'll get to in a minute and at the zoo nowhere else or at panda's house maybe because it's easier to draw humans than fucking like, Animals of all sorts. Gosh, John, you have to commit. You have to commit. <sighs> okay. So he chases the butterfly to the cafe. And the polar bear basically bum rushes him into, hey, you're a customer now. Kind of thing. Yeah, we are looking way too into Yes, we are looking way too into this show about bears. Zero. Hey, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Good comeback. All right. So, very <laughs> much more. Yes. Oh, okay. That happened. So, <laughs> this is unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The panda is a customer now, and he asks if they have bamboo, and they don't, so he gets a nice coffee instead. And then the penguin at the restaurant at the cafe is like, "Hey." Polar bear, give me uh, seconds, that was it. And then the polar bear keeps making puns on the Japanese word for seconds. Like uh, chopping a watermelon and... Why is that the one I remember? Probably because it's stuck out the most. I'd say because we've been tra traumatized by watermelons, but I don't think you were on that episode. So, no, I was. Oh, you were? Okay. I, well, at least I listened to that episode. I mean, I'm not... It wasn't a, me a particularly memorable show aside from that, was it? Not really. No. Just the kid being an arsehole, basically. That's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> so... Anyway. Yeah, puns. Yeah. And then the penguin's like, Hey, uh, you're hiring people, right? For like part time because you need the help. And the panda's like, "Ooh, part time! Uh, I could do that. Let me interview for it." So they have a bunch of candidates up for interview, and there's another fucking pun about holes and uh, some other word that sounds like hole to hole. Oh. Hole. Oh. A badger was the first interview. A badger named Badger. Mm. Then we, badger, then, badger, we had, badger. then we had a giant tortoise named Giant Tortoise who mm -hmm. wanted to work for a hundred years and was obviously very slow getting around. Okay, the name thing might be a little racist. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I don't want to get back on... I don't want to be zero here, but 
it's you're being zero right now. <laughs> so then we then comes a mandrill who's only interested in eating dumplings. I think those were probably. Then who was the last one? Anteater. Anteater. Supposedly, I can be intimidating. He's just That's like it. a foot and a half tall. Much intimidation. I mean, really, an anteater would actually probably be useful for, like, pest control. Like, oh, yeah. Totally do that, but oh well. Mr. Trick, I suppose. And then Panda yeah. shows up, and Panda's Based like. Performances before. Yeah. I eat bamboo grass and lie around doing nothing. And I only want to work two days a week. One, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Polar Bear is like, yeah, no thanks, I'm good. You all just do whatever. We're okay, thanks. Leave. Mm. <clears throat> and then uh, a girl walks in with a branch that has a sloth on it. And the sloth is like, I want to live here, so can I be planted outside? That would be cool. And the polar bear decides to hire the girl for some reason. It's not entirely clear why. No. No. Because she's good with animals. Because she seems like the least crazy person there. Again, that sounds a little like they're all... okay. So then we have Panda returning home to his mother and telling her about the cafe that he knew of, and she said that she knew about it already and that it happened to be right down the street. Right, yeah, it's next door. Much next door. Hmm. So cut. I think that's when we get the mid scene transition. And then comes Panda trying to place a delivery order since they live right next door. I hate this thing. I hate him so much. <laughs> because he's me. <laughs> he he's he asks he asks Polar Bear, what would it take to get you to deliver to here? And Polar Bear is saying we can't, we don't deliver and we're too busy right now. Mother Panda comes up and asks Panda what he's doing lazing around. Panda says he's looking for work and then blatantly says, what would it take to get you to deliver? Yeah. And Mother vacuums him again and cut to him walking into the Polar Bear Cafe with half of his uh, fur ruffled. Hmm. Um, there was a thing that I saw recently that Japanese culture in general is a lot more tolerant of repetition than most other places um, and that shows in the language I feel like that might be a thing here because they reuse the same shot three times with exactly the same line including the reading maybe that's at play I'm not sure but it was like okay they're doing this joke again uh, by the second time let alone the third so children like repetition yeah I guess that's true too doubling down on that seems fine I guess if that's what you're gonna do I mean it's I don't kind of a cheap so. way to get laughs so so moving on Polar Bear tries to help Panda by suggesting some other job for him insisting on a tuna boat lots of physical labor mm. and yeah he's stuck on the tuna boat thing for pretty much the rest of the episode while Panda instead sees an opening at the zoo for a panda. Hmm. 
And he applies for the panda position and gets it alongside a full-time panda. <laughs> Though he could also apply for a black bear or a gorilla instead. So, like, how yeah. many animals are actually other animals at the zoo? How do you know? There is a joke I could make here, but I'm really not going to make it. Just go for it. Fuck it. No. No. Just gonna let it pass by. <sighs> it was a... Okay. Yep. Moving on. So, yeah. He decides to be a panda for two days a week, which is fine with the zookeeper. It's like, okay, this is your first day of work. So, you're... Oh, and he has a whole trip to work and he gets stuck in the turnstile and stuff like that um and the zookeeper tells him okay so there's going to be some preschool kids coming around today so give them extra service and is not keen to elaborate on what exactly that means but whatever um so older full-time panda is like hey what's up so basically all you gotta do is just do whatever you want to do. Just act naturally. And... Naturally. Part-time panda decides to hide in some bamboo stalks that he just picks up and is carrying around because that makes him part of nature. Okay. Naturally. Yeah, that's... I guess that's technically a joke. Um, and full-time panda's like, no, just do do whatever you normally do. And so they just laze around for a while until the preschoolers show up and then they start doing panda things eating a bunch of bamboo sliding on a slide and playing with tires and a tire swing and rolling around and mm. just keeping that up and getting exhausted in the process and keeping it up for a little bit longer before the preschoolers move on yeah. So then, then Panda passes out from exhaustion, and when he wakes up, it's twilight. The other panda is already gone, and the zoo is closing. Cut yeah. to the polar bear. Hey. He comes in, sees some other part timers at the zoo, including a koala bear. That was the stuck out. And looks on the menu and sees. Oh, polar bear added bamboo to the menu. It's like, so. aww. It's so... It was a nice moment. It was really cute. So then he orders bamboo a little more punnage off screen. Uh, of course. And then odd credit sequence where it's just a bunch of black and white dots forming into various panda formations I didn't watch the credits to be honest with you well, no. <laughs> once the I show just... was done I was done I mean I just thought back to someone said it a couple of weeks ago where if we're only going to watch one episode of a show better to watch the whole thing just get better to watch the whole thing and just get everything that they have and it, apparently the jokes weren't done yet at the end of the episode we have dolls of polar bear penguin and panda on a swing with them talking about how they're supposed to be giving the preview for the next episode and panda says how about we uh how about we give the three worst traits of everyone here? And Penguin says, no, that'll just bring the mood down. Polar Bear speaks up and says, Penguin's worst trait is that he's not good with his money. Penguin objects to saying this, and then Polar Bear says, the next episode is the last one, which it isn't. So. Damn. Okay, just, that's actually a pretty good joke, is the next episode is the last one. It's just, it's, yeah. 
Mm. There's an off, off the cuff thing that's pretty okay. Also, we completely forgot to talk about the intro sequence, which yeah, I was about to say. Can we the, just talk the, about how the the least interesting part of the intro sequence is that it seems to be sung by a Japanese Jason Derulo. <laughs> but aside from that, it's a road trip with the polar bear, the penguin and the panda in a car that transforms into a sled shaped like a penguin and then a jet plane shaped like a polar bear. I'm not... I know penguins don't fly, but I'm pretty sure they're closer to it than polar bears. Is... (laughs) That's what you focus on? I mean, it seemed a little odd. That's all I'm saying. Like, the choices that... Penguins are known for sliding in the snow. <laughs> I'm sure polar bears do it too. Everyone has hobbies. Let's just roll a new show. Agree. <laughs> do we have anything else to say here? Um, no. <laughs> just like... Eh, no. Can she go? Don't you tell me what to do? Alright, um... Let's see what we got. And yet you do it anyway. I haven't done it yet. I can still not do it. That's also the joke. Well, in that case, don't do it while I make sure that there are no more cues added. Just to make sure. Yeah, it's too late now. It's already done. All right. So, this week we have four. D. D. And no, there aren't any new cues. Pardon? There aren't any new cues. I just checked. No, thank you. Letting that pass. 92. 92, all right then. Well, out of 92, we get, ha, 44. 44. All right, so let's see here. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. I still need to get used to this new program. It doesn't show the whole name right away. Denshin Mamote Shugo Geten. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Uh, summary is In the peaceful life of modern Japan, uh, Shaorin and Tosuke explore their relationship amid familiar interventions and new challenges. Shaorin begins to discover why she chose to stay with Tusuke, and Tusuke begins to... What the hell is this show about? That's not a summary. It's not. <laughs> What's this show called? Denshin huh? Mamote Shigoguten. Uh, Shigoguten. Shigoguten. Um... It's in the peaceful life of our Japan, explore the duration of the learn the depth of his love. It, it's a love story thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, I think it's a love story thing in the style of Ranma. Uh, this is an eight episode OVA, um, and each episode is about thirty minutes in length, so it's actually longer than most of the other shows. Um, Only yeah. comment on this show is someone was looking for another show, <laughs> and this <laughs> popped up. That's all they had to say about it. All right, let's check uh, out so the this episode. Is a, this, this actually originally ran from 1997 to uh, April of 2000. Wow, why? Um, yeah, there's yeah 22. Yeah, there's a 22 episode anime television series, and then the Denshin Mamote uh, Shugoten is an OVA. It should be just Mamoto, uh, Mamote uh, Shugogeten, uh, or to a Vi. <laughs> Vi. Um, yeah. Uh, so no, just, there is a I'm normal just, anime for this. I'm just checking whether it's on the GoGo anime site. Mamote. Uh, nope. There's Mamote Lollipop. Two thousand, which only has a dub, which is interesting. But no Mamote Sugar Get Ten. Huh. 
You see, it we... says there was an anime. I'm going to say if we can't actually find the original anime, we should probably just skip this one. Yeah. This is probably the most forgotten anime. That yeah. could possibly be true. I'm looking yeah. on another site to see whether it's there. I doubt it, but... If but. you can't, it's okay to skip it. Like that, It's not a show anymore at that point. Yeah, like, it's not on it's here. To the point, it's to the point that they don't even have like an episode list on Wikipedia for it. Yeah, this this one might be lost to time, unfortunately. So, so yeah, yeah, the original run was from 1998 to 1999. Um, yeah, this nobody even there's not even a reception part on the Wikipedia page. I don't think anybody even watched this show. <laughs> oh well. We so. rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm re rolling. You want me to start from the top? Uh, no. Because Fine. we did technically get in whatever letter it was. Very well then. Next number 32. 32. Let's see here. Well, this. Um, Death March Kara Hajimaru Isekai Kyo So Kyoku. Death March to the uh, Peril. 29 year old programmer Suzuki Ichiro finds himself transported into a. Fa oh. Isekai! Hey, you wanna guess what? I know this one. Oh, shocker of shockers. Hey, is you wanna know what this one is? It's a lot of trash. <laughs> I mean, that's what most isekai is these days. So. This this show is the prime example when I think of isekai of these female characters have no character. They literally exist to fill a stereotype or trope or role. The main character gets overpowered and... and what I'm assuming is going to be the first episode because I didn't want to watch this anime because I read the original material. Now, can I get a link to it? <laughs> I, I guess. You know, I, I would have watched the other thing well, were it actually a viable it one. Bad it looks if I can't, you know. let, me, let me read, like, uh, the, the programmer who wakes up in another world. What lies before him is what looks like the menu screen of the game he was working, before his, working on before his nap. He's at a complete beginner stage at level one. However, he had three meteor showers, which could level a whole map. Suddenly, a whole group of lizardmen appear in front of him. In order to survive, Sato uses meteor shower. His level jumped to 310, and he became extremely wealthy. Whether it be dream or reality, Sato's journey was now beginning. Oh, this one. Yeah, I read the manga. It's... Bleh. It is... Hey, like, I, I really hate the... Because this is a thing with isekai style stories of, hey, we're just going to relax in another world. That's not how you tell a story. There's no conflict. There's no plot. You're not telling any plot. You're just going around and beating things up and making yourself look good. There's conflict, but it's easily resolved because the main character can always fall back on their OP abilities. Right. So, yeah. So, what do we do? Are we doing this next week, or are we doing a group feature? I'm going to hold my vote until everyone else votes. Because I could go either way. <laughs> I want to make you guys watch this, so I'm not going to veto. As All someone right. who's read the manga, I wouldn't... Funnily enough, I'd say the beginning... Yeah? It's he dropped not, out again. It's not complete garbage, honestly. It's, it's not terrible. It'll just be maybe a little boring. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see how how this went from manga to anime. I was reading the light novel and I read very far ahead uh, because I had nothing better to do. And yeah, high school was a fun time. Uh, and college, actually, yeah. When I also had nothing better to do in college. Hmm. And I, yeah. Uh, but I did read ahead on this thing. Oh, long ways back and i remember almost none of it because this has no character to it so yay hmm 
I was on the fence, mostly because I don't want to watch garbage. But also, the more of these garbage shows I watch in this particular subgenre, probably the better Konosuba looks in hindsight. Isn't it great? No. <laughs> now you know why I was like Konosuba is so good. Because it's that's just... that's not a good way to position your series. Is look how good it looks compared to the trash. That's not no. It's because it makes <laughs> because it makes fun of, because it makes fun of the trash in the first few episodes. And I was like, yay, thank you for acknowledging that this genre is filled with trash. Phone ding. <laughs> well, I guess we're if, doing it. <clears throat> yeah. No one has any individual vetoes left except Blush, who isn't here. Mm. Yeah. All right. So we're doing the Death March something, 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 something. Yeah. Death Marching to the Parallel World Rhapsody, because that makes sense. That's a fancy ass title for something like this. Mm. All right. So bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.